So, kalaban niyo today, Adamson. In the first round, five sets niyo sila nilaro. And it seemed like in that game, Adamson had the early advantage. What should you guys do today in order to avoid the same scenario? Uh, I think we should take the lead early on and um, magsipag pala kami mula sa simula kasi malakas talaga yung depensa nila so kala namin magtsaga sa loob ng court. Okay, the elimination round is almost over. What should Ateneo do in order to end the elimination round strong? Uh, I think we should sweep all of the games left uh, so, so that we'll be able to gain momentum for the semifinals. Alright, good luck in your game later. That was Lady Eagle, Gretchen Hoff. Lofty goals uh, by one of the most popular Lady Eagles. If you visit uh, the Ateneo campus, I mean, her poster is all over, literally all over the place. Gretchen Ho. And uh, what do you think about that, And Sweeping the rest of the eliminations. Well, like, I think it's a good goal. And uh, for the Ateneo Lady Eagles, what they really want to secure is, uh, you know, talagang masecure nila yung uh, solo second. And uh, of course, hindi mo rin naman gagawing goal lang matalo. They have four remaining games left. What they want is to end this round strong. Uh, because there is a possibility of them falling mm -hmm. and tying with the rest of yes. uh, the bottom teams in sa ating top five in the standings. Now let's uh, talk about the Adamson Lady Falcons. Back-to-back -back wins also for them against... Uh, the teams below 500 in the standing so not really a true test of their capability but uh, nevertheless wins are wins here in the UAAP and uh, the last game they had was against the struggling um, Lady Maroons of University of the Philippines and that was a three set sweep of UB. Well, uh, the Lady Falcons had their ups and downs here in Season 74, pero nakikita natin the team still remains positive as you can see the results of uh, that last game against UP where they swept the match in straight sets and in a very easy fashion. Although here what uh, I'd like to note is the fact that in set number three, the team seemed to have relaxed. If you look at the score, it was 15 and 19 for UP, pero pagdating ng set number three, it went up all the way to 23. Which is sometimes the case when, when teams become overconfident and relaxed going into the final set. But nonetheless, if you look at uh, you know their statistics in terms of uh, attacking, they scored 39 as compared to 20 of UP. They had more blocks as well and more service aces. But one thing they may need to control is the number of errors that they commit in a match. And usually for a team like Adamson, a team that's very disciplined, seldom do you see them commit errors, but that is why they are struggling at uh, the middle rank of the standings for season 74. And obviously, right now coming into today's game, they have vengeance in their mind. One of the best receivers, if not the best receiver for season 74, Angelica Vasquez had a chat earlier with our Bea Coronel. Okay, so Angelica, you're going up against Ateneo today. A team na alam niyo namang kaya niyo talagang talunin. So, ano yung mindset niyo going up against them? And what do you think you have to do para matalo nga sila? Uh, yun nga po, um, after nung one week na training namin, um, yung, yung goal namin na kailangan namin sila talunin after ng controversial na game namin last night first round, uh, yun po, kailangan lang namin ilaro yung bawat laro ng isa, isa at isa. Tapos yung eagerness to win every game. And, Okay, thank you and good luck also later. That was Angelica Vasquez of the Adamson Lady Falcons. The controversy that she was referring to was the uh, yellow cards, mm -hmm. the warning uh, that was called upon and the point uh, taken away from Adamson. Uh, they will try to recover from that. And it's going to be, you know, very exciting to see how the Lady Falcons will uh, take on the Lady Eagles here today. We have Ateneo Adamson coming up next here on Studio 23. watching ABS-CBN Sports on Studio 23.
Welcome back to the arena in San Juan for the main event this Saturday afternoon of Ateneo looking to maintain and keep a stranglehold on the number two spot in the standings uh, right now with an eight and two record. They're looking to go up nine and two while the Lady Falcons want some separation from FEU and USD. All of these teams are at six and four and obviously that's five teams, including La Salle. So you wanna you wanna get some separation, some cushion against the four and five teams, so so as to avoid complication or complications going into the final four. That's right. And you know, at this point, uh, well, like what we mentioned, both these, uh, well, all these uh, teams that are on the three-way tie, Tong Adamson, FU, and uh, the USC Lady Tigers, they all have four remaining games left. All right, let's go courtside. Introducing Ooh. our officials. Listen to for the this match. starting six of both First teams. First referee. Efren Gaa, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Loomer Pajarillo, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Lady Eagles of the Ateneo de Manila University. Wearing jersey number 12, Jamanea Ferrer. At number 7, Alice Carol Nakachi. Wearing jersey number 2, Eliza Valdez. At number 6, Angeline Marie Hervasho. Wearing jersey number 3, Gretchen Hall. And their team captain, number 15, Fiel St. Merced Cainlet. Libero, number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro. Head coach, Mr. Roger Gorayev. Introducing our Lady Falcons from the Adamson University. Wearing jersey number 3, Sheila Marie Pineda. At number 14, May Jennifer Macatuno. Wearing jersey number 2, Maria Paulina Soriano. At number 5, Luisa May Zapanta. Team captain with jersey number 10, Angelica Kinlog. And at number 17, Maria Erika G. Alquino. Libero, number 1, Angelica Vasquez. Head coach, Miss Minerva Dulce Ante. Best of luck to both teams. There's your starting six for both teams. The key matchup to look out for, number 12, Jam Ferrer. She's ranked number two in setting. Mm -hmm. While uh, May Makatuno, number 14 for Adamson, is ranked number five yeah, as uh, one of the best setters in the league out of out of top 10, pang lima, si May Jennifer Makatuno. So yung discarte nila, mm -hmm. that will... Uh, primarily be one of the things that will determine who's going to come out on top in this game. Oh, that's right. As we always say, the setter uh, drives, mm -hmm. you know, the the game. So, tama ka, no? Yung discarte, yung kailangan natin makita will, uh, well, I'm actually uh, excited to see and I'm anticipating what uh, kind of offense and uh, defense is no question for both these teams, but what kind of offense we will see from them today. Speaking of offense, number seven in scoring, Sheila May Pineda for Adamson. 10 and 11 back to back is uh, Luisa May Zapanta and Pau sure, Soriano. While, of course, we mentioned Filke Englet, number three in scoring, and number 11, or make that number 12 in scoring, is uh, Angeli Orzi Hervasho of Ateneo. We are off in set number one, and Zapanta is picked up her shot. That's going to be long for her Vasho. Adamson gets first blood. So uh, we're still at our four first point, but uh, you can already feel the intensity from both the teams. It's uh, very clear how eager Adamson is to uh, snatch a win today. And uh, the same goes for uh, Ateneo. Pareho nga, they both clearly expressed uh, their uh, goal for the balance of the second round, they need to win all the remaining games. And it's not just the fans, Anna, no? Pati, I'm sorry, the, the players, even the fans oh, yeah. are really into it. I mean, when call out pala sa mga players, you can hear the reaction of the crowd inside the arena. As you see, Alisa Valdez score her first point in today's game and definitely not going to be the last. Mm -hmm. Valdez currently uh, ranked number three, tied with Kainlet and Maranio in terms of uh, best scorers. That's going to be off Zapanta point Ateneo. All right, let's find out the game plan of the Lady Falcons as we check in with Bea Coronel. Thanks, Eric. Well, in their last encounter against 
Falcons, the Lady Eagles, the Lady Falcons definitely learned a thing or two about finishing strong after losing a 2-1 to one set lead. Now, in fact, Mommy Duel says preliminary instructions for today were first not to be rattled and second not to be content with keeping things close. Now confident that the Lady Falcons can definitely outplay the Lady Eagles, the girls were told to just be patient, stay organized, and utilize strong defense in order to secure better set plays and more opportunities to deliver. Eric and Anne? Thank you, Bea. To all, it is, is it, is it, uh, there, is there some sort of, uh, you know, nervousness, tension with the way Adamson plays for this season? And because previously we saw Adamson as one of the most uh, confident teams in the league. Well, I would say there would be some instances that you would feel it. But, uh, you know, generally you'll see this team as a fighting team. And uh, so far here in the set, that's exactly what they're showing uh, everyone. As you heard from that report by Bea, Adamson clearly had a chance to close out Ateneo in the first meeting, having that 2-1 set lead, but they failed to do so. And they were led to the fifth set where they lost eventually. Now, speaking of Ateneo, game plan coming into today's game from Coach Roger Goreyem. Let's listen in to Tiff Atendido. Eric, with squad number two all for themselves, all Coach Roger Goreyem asked the Lady Eagles is to maintain their standing. Realistically, he's not dreaming of the number one spot anymore because he says that at the end, the number one and the number two spot both get the twice-to-beat advantage. Yun naman daw yung habal nila. When asked about his adjustments considering the five-set game in the first round against Adamson, Coach Roger just told me, I think we are more confident now. In the first round, we were still working our way up the standings. Now we are two games ahead of the third spot. Yeah, we are in a good place. But one thing I admire about Coach Rogers is that it's practicing for a long-term basis, meaning they don't practice based on their opponent. They treat every opponent as if they can beat Ateneo. So as long as the girls stick with Coach Rogers' system, Ateneo will be in a good place for this game. Eric and Ann. Thank you. Tiff, Coach Roger Goreyeb, with the realization that number one, isn't as important because Tamang Asha 1 and 2 get the same treatment, same privileges in the final four. That's right. And I think, you know, that already takes away, uh, takes off some pressure from the team as well. And at this point, uh, La Salle still has no loss. They, they have a very clean 10-0 and record. So I guess tama rin naman si Coach Roger, no? realizing it uh, at this point. Just making sure that the girls will play well and uh, you know they have their play secured naman in the final four. Saka not to place undue stress, okay. undue pressure na hindi naman na kailangan because you know, number two and number one almost yes. are the same diba? in, in the... Uh, you know, bigger scheme of things. That's right. At the end of the day, it's all a matter of just positioning. Mm -hmm. Well, so far, Ateneo is in a very good position. Set number one. They have been very active and very effective. Offensively and defensively, they are up by 4-7-3. Kinlog. Ferrer. Hervasho has been pretty active in scoring in today's game. He's gotten a lot of touches from Jan Ferreira. They are up by five. 8-3, set number one. The crowd inside the arena in San Juan. Some of them into it. Obviously, some aren't yet. But as we go deeper into this match, you know, the, the crowd is just uh, going to be a factor for both teams because we have, I guess, an even split of uh, the fans inside the arena in San Juan. The rookie, Alisa or Alisa, Valdez of Ateneo coming off the USD high school program, has already earned a spot in the starting six of Ateneo. Free ball for the Lady Eagles. Ferrer, Kainglet rejected. Great save by Valdez. Kainglet tries again. Makatuno to Luisa Mays. Rapanta and she scores. Zapanta currently ranked number nine in terms of uh, best spikers here in the league. And she's really improved. Uh, 